Hello and welcome to this month's edition of Well Connected TV, bringing you the latest business news from Liverpool and Sefton Chambers of Commerce. Liverpool and Sefton are now operating as a combined Chambers of Commerce. The launch took place at the 88 Bar and Brasserie in Southport, where guests were introduced to the services that are now available to them. Now the two of them have amalgamated, for us, it's going to be fantastic because you've got the backroom staff and the support that, you've, that we've enjoyed from Liverpool Chamber, but with the North Liverpool area of Sefton that we're going to reap the benefits of as well. It's an exciting time for the two chambers to have merged and relaunched this evening. There's a lot more going on at Liverpool Chamber, a lot bigger chamber, so I think all the members of Sefton will benefit very, very much. Also just launched is the exciting Liverpool City Region Spark Up programme. This business accelerator programme from the Liverpool Chamber is aiming to create 500 super businesses in the region over the next five years. I think Spark Up can make a major contribution to the city region. Uh, it can make a huge contribution to the kind of businesses that are growing in the city. It can make a fantastic contribution to bringing businesses in, into the city as well. So there's a, there's a definite inward investment angle to the programme. Spark Up. It's about inspiring aspirational entrepreneurs, either those that are, have been in business for up to two years or those not yet in business who might not know what to do. Spark Up is so important to Liverpool. We, we need to create 20,000 new businesses. We need to create 90,000 new jobs. This is our way of creating 500 businesses over the next five years towards that total. Award-winning international car park company Q Park has just opened the doors to a brand new high-tech facility here in Liverpool city centre. Q Park Dale Street is the fifth addition to their existing portfolio and Liverpool and Sefton Chamber members can get a 50% discount ticket from our reception. Q Park Dale Street is located off Vernon Street and is ideal for city centre workers, especially in the Dale Street business district. From a security perspective, our customers need to have their parking ticket to enter and exit the, the car park. What that means is that we don't have anybody else other than Q Park customers in the parking facility. Q Park is, is a different parking experience. We have a range of convenient services such as free buggy hire, shoe shine machines and also umbrella hire. Q Park Dale Street is monitored 24-7 with a friendly parking host who can deal with any inquiry which a parker will have during their stay. Q Park Dale Street also has a special offer for chamber members where they will receive 50% discount from their parking. Over the last couple of months we've asked chamber members to share their New Year's business resolutions with Well Connected TV and here's a selection of their suggestions. I want to help more people, I want to inspire more people, I want to have a big involvement in the International Festival for Business, which is in June and July. And I want to play some sort of role in that after I finish being Lord Mayor. More attitude, I think, based on, uh, on what's uh, been said by Gary Miller, the Lord Mayor. More attitude, lots more attitude. We want to deliver well for everybody again and improve our customer service. That's the biggest thing for me. We don't be lazy, make sure we get out and get face to face with people, obviously. You can market yourself as well as you want with PR and digital marketing, which is very measurable and can be very effective, but I still think it's valid in this day and age to get face to face with people, look people in the eye and build relationships. So to work with, do a lot more networking and to work with a number, a lot more businesses. It's probably to do a little bit more networking than I did last year and make a few more contacts. I made a resolution to get more clients and stop doing things cheaply. Local businesses are being invited to apply for the Merseyside Innovation Awards. The awards are sponsored by Merseyside's business community and offers a £10,000 cash prize to the winner. The awards are open to any Merseyside-based individual or company with an innovative product or service and less than 50 employees. Uh, the Innovation Awards have been going since the uh, mid-1990s. The idea behind them is to identify, encourage and foster Merseyside entrepreneurs really who've got bright business ideas that can be the foundation for either a new business or growing their existing business. We're inviting businesses with innovative ideas to come forward and enter <clears throat> and the, uh, the sponsors will select a monthly winner each month between now and April. And then in July, we'll have a final at the Crown Plaza Hotel with uh, a, a panel of independent judges. Three finalists will present their innovation and the winner will take a cash prize of £10,000. You enter online, it takes about two minutes. 
Uh, you'll then get a call, most probably from one of the sponsors, who, who will help uh, to put your application forward to the sponsor group as a whole. And, and that's it, it's that simple. And finally, Liverpool Community Health NHS Trust have just welcomed over 180 local businesses to a Meet the Buyer event at their Innovation Park offices. Their aim was to increase the number of suppliers, but more importantly to the region, increase the number of local suppliers. I head up the procurement team, we've got six people with us at the moment, we've got a team of category buyers and then purchasing assistants, so we um, manage to spend effectively for Liverpool Community Health all the non-pay, so about £34 million a year comes through our department. We said we really need to get ahead of the game I think here and actually when we do sometimes receive a proposal from a local business or a small medium enterprise or whoever it may be, the proposal quite often is lacking and it, it it's not through fault of that organisation, it's just they're maybe not used to submitting in the way that we need to see it and ticking those boxes effectively that the NHS needs to tick. So I think for us it's about bringing in that market and saying, OK, here's access to a whole host of support services and here's access to our work plan to say that's what we're going to buy for the next few years. So if you know I'm going to be looking for your service in 12 months' time, it gives you that opportunity now, I think, to get that ball rolling to be able to secure that contract in a year's time and I think that's what today is about setting that scene really and just opening those lines of communication and I think you know we'd be happy to meet with anybody outside of this that couldn't make it or whatever to learn exactly what it is they do and be able to share that information you know that we we learned on the day. That's all from Well Connected TV thanks for watching see you next month.